Back in 2014, we heard about a so-called fish gun or salmon cannon that safely shot spawning fish up over river blocking obstacles such as dams. Its successor is now in use, offering a couple of key advantages over the original system. Dams block rivers to create hydropower, which is a source of sustainable energy. But they stop fish being able to swim back upstream to where they spawned in order to reproduce. A revolutionary fish passage system designed by Woosh Innovations, who normally use the technology to safely transport fish over dams, assisted thousands of salmon by helping them overcome a river blockage in the remote wilderness, helping to saving the run. The first design system was basically a flexible plastic tube hooked up to a motorized air pump. One end of that tube was located in the river at the bottom of the dam, while the other was located up at the top. It was first used to get fish into a truck or when transferring them into a hatchery or aquaculture operation. The fish were manually loaded into the bottom end of the system, where the lower air pressure inside sucked them in and up the tube. A pressure difference of about 2 psi shot the fish along at 5 to 10 meter per second. Although quite clever, the system was limited by the fact that the fish had to be hand-loaded into the tube. Not only was this labor intensive and time-consuming, but it was also stressful to the fish. At the time, the company was looking into a method of enticing the fish to enter the setup voluntarily. That feature is now a standard part of the new and improved Woosh Passage Portal. The system is mounted onto a floating structure. That structure allows it to move where the fish are swimming. Fish swimming upstream are instinctively drawn to that flowing water, swimming up the chute in the same manner they would attempt to swim up over a weir. The fish then slide through the fish recognition scanner, where multiple cameras take a total of 18 photos of them in less than one second. Those images are instantaneously analyzed by a computer system, which ascertains the species, size, and other characteristics of each animal. From there, fish glides through a chute and into a pneumatic tube system, which uses very low air pressure to gently push the fish through the tube. As was the case with the previous system, the water within the tube is misted. In this way, it still provides lubrication while also protecting the fish from rapid changes in water pressure as they ascend to the top of the dam. This not only allows biologists to keep track of what sort of fish are in the river, but it also lets the system refuse entry to undesirable species, 